Nintendo everywhere and there are lots of other Nintendo that are down the way for subscribe to get them. Also, don't forget to like, down like, and we'll spend all day sneezing while we're trying to work. Some people can be quite annoying. They jump all over you and leave their tracks. So I'm not too bad at what we're while we're trying to work and they would sobble all over our stuff. Imagine trying to be clown but they don't sobble all over us. Yuck. We couldn't leave our lunchboxes around as they would steal our food and nobody wants hungry kids. And all poo everywhere. And Misty and I and I would have to clean it up. So we have to clean up yuck like like Pepsi and that is bad enough. Then comes the question of who will feed it. It might be okay during the week and still be a lot of volunteer support for who will do it after school and on the weekends. Paying for the food will be expensive. It might mean Miss Smith doesn't have enough money left to buy good ass bowls or new paint washes and scissors. Nobody wants that. Then comes the school holidays and who is going to look after this pet then? They would have to go home with some of which would be a massive responsibility. Or we'd have to stay at school and someone would have to come and feed it every day. What a what a pain. Not to mention the fact that it could get run over or killed staying with someone else. The pet might get very lonely in the school holidays without the school kids around. Pets are not the hard work. We already have to and we already have to work really hard at school. I don't think that we should get a pet that will dribble and mess up the school and cough up the money. I think pet families at their homes, definitely not the school.